Hey guys, Ian here from Mid America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And so, I wanted to make sure I came down here out to my uh, cabin location while I was down home and got an update for you guys. Um, I haven't touched this since um, the, before the first frost in November. Um, simply because I wanted to get the ground, uh, the stuff in the ground first and then we would work with it later. And I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what exactly we got done the last time we were down here working on this. Well guys, uh, here's the cabin as it sits right now. It is set like this since November. Um, reason being is November became, you know, it got cold and the first frost came and the ground froze and I don't want to be out here digging holes or attempting to dig holes by hand and then setting concrete and and posting the ground and having it not set right while I was, you know, three hours away. So um, we came out here just, you know, about a week and a half before the first cold uh, week came through and we've got it this far. Um, when I first started the cabin, if you've been watching the cabin videos, I only have a couple of them up so far, but um, I dug this hole, that back right corner, the back left and the front left and set the post and started the structure of the cabin um, obviously it was very unsturdy and not safe to be building on so I had to come back and add some more posts and so a week before the first frost here in Kansas which I don't remember the date exactly I have video I have some pictures I don't have a video of that my wife and I came out here and she dug the hole for that that post that post that post and that post um, she fought all day long digging four holes and some people are like, oh, they're just four holes. Why don't you get a shovel and, and go at it? This ground is extremely rocky and not really great land to build on. And we found that out very easy, very quickly, and uh, understand why it's not good good land to build on. But it's, it's fine for this cabin. Um, these two holes here are uh, about 24 inches deep. That hole over there, along with this middle hole here, is about um, 30 inches deep. Which is fine. Uh, we we reinforced it very well, I think, for as good as we can. Um, what I did was took some rebar, some half inch rebar and three eighths rebar. With this angle here, I welded it to the end. Um, the rebar, the half inch rebar down, and then the three eighths across both ways, and set this in the ground along with the post this, or the uh, four by four that's been bolted on. And that allowed for the uh, a minimum of, you know, this is 12 inches here, a minimum of that much concrete holding it down. And I'll show you what the post in the front looks like. Um, it's about the best we see here. Is that's what it looked like here. I didn't want the concrete coming up and over the post. Um, if this post ever rots out the the, uh, the uh, half inch rebar which I hope it doesn't uh, I can replace this it's 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 fine but if I, I didn't want to put this in the ground and have it you know be washed away with water over time and dry rot and everything because it is treated and so you know all lumber is going to do that over time eventually it will if it's exposed so I tried to eliminate as much as I could um, Obviously, I could have done it different, but I'm working with minimal ground depth, a very rocky, hard ground, and so this is uh, the best we could come up with, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not upset with that at all. But uh, here's another one. We never got the uh, the framing off of it in time, um, and so it's been like this since November. It's fine. It comes right off eventually. And it's set just like the same way. You can see that big gap there. Yeah, so the water can under, go underneath it. I'll probably seal it up somehow on all the posts that are exposed. But this one's actually in the concrete in the ground. Uh, that's a 40 inch piece of uh, 4 by 4 there. And that is, you know, holding up very nicely. And you can see here, not a very good writing there, but 2016, that's when we started building it. And that's just uh, a quick update. I think when I come back down, I'll get my uh, my digging hands going and dig 
a hole here, a hole here, and then in the back likewise. And actually, I may scrap the middle idea and get a, I have a, uh, this is a 16 foot span. I, uh, I plan on getting a piece of tube steel and running it from corner to corner and then uh, making a concrete pad in the middle or uh, just taking a steel beam and setting a bottle jack on and jacking it up and down to adjust for the fluctuations uh, of the ground movement and the seasons and everything. You know, similar to, as you would do to older houses. It'll work just fine. I'm not worried about it. Plus, we're out here in the boondocks. If the uh, door don't close right, nobody's going to see you without looking through a scope or a binoculars or something. So, I'm not worried about it. Also, here is the, uh, the plywood that I thought about using, which I may uh, change my, uh, my thoughts now. I only paid $5 a sheet for this plywood. Um, the, the siding I'm, I'm going to use for sure. Um, that's the uh, 1101 or whatever it is. I don't know what the exact name of it is anymore, but um, that, that plywood, five bucks a sheet, I can use it for a bazillion different uses. I'll probably go with quarter, three quarter inch. Uh, but for right now, the 7 sixteenths at $5 a sheet was not too bad of a deal. But it's definitely, you know, weathering a little bit and not how I wanted it to be. But we did paint it with a, uh, a water coat uh, paint for the bottom side. So that way, if it does get moisture underneath it, it's not going to soak up to the top. And um, I do believe all of these, no, they're not. I got like... The first two here, and there's a few down here I got done. But otherwise, I didn't get all of it painted. And I'm not too worried about it. My brush just kept on breaking. So, Anyhow, this is Ian here from Mid-America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching this uh, cabin update. Stay tuned for more. See you later.